Hello, my name is Jonathan Rogeview. I'm a product manager in Pivotal R&D. And I'm Sophie, a software engineer at Pivotal R&D. We're going to show you what you need to do in order to update your Windows-based apps to use the correct stack. First, some quick background information. When Pivotal Application Service for Windows was introduced, developers could push Windows-based applications to a Windows cell using the Dash S Windows 2016 parameter. This served to differentiate between pushing to the Windows 2012 R2 stack. However, we found that the Windows 2016 stack name was confusing, especially as new versions of Windows were introduced, including Windows Server 2019. In Pivotal Application Service version 2.4, we introduced the simplified stack name of Windows, where developers could push apps with dash s windows. You don't need to know what version of Windows is under the hood, it'll just work. For the past several versions, developers could push apps to both the Windows stack name and the deprecated Windows 2016 stack name, giving time to transition to the new name. In Pivotal Application Service version 2.8, we are removing the deprecated Windows 2016 stack name. So, what does this mean to you? Before you upgrade to PaaS 2.8, you need to update any Windows-based apps which currently use the deprecated Windows 2016 stack name to use the correct Windows stack name. So, how to do that? First, you need to find out which apps on your foundation are using the deprecated Windows 2016 stack name. Fortunately, there is a CF plugin called Stack Auditor, which makes this very easy. Next, we'll use the change stack functionality of Stack Auditor to update the stack name for all the apps using the legacy name. Note, this will restart the app and thus will cause temporary downtime for that app. Please plan accordingly. Sophie is going to walk us through a demonstration on how to see what apps are using the legacy stack name, using the command line, and also using Apps Manager web interface, and then use Stack Auditor plugin to update the stack names. Take it away, Sophie. First, let's log into our foundation using credentials which can manage apps. We'll log into both the Apps Manager interface and the CF command line interface. Now that we're logged in, let's take a look at what apps are already running. I've already pushed some example apps. Let's take a look at a specific app and see what its stat currently is. In the Apps Manager interface, click on the app and then click Settings. In the terminal, you can view an app's stack using CF App. As you can see, this app is using the deprecated Windows 2016 name. Since we have many apps, let's download and install the Stack Auditor tool to get a better look at what stacks are in use for all apps on our foundation. First, let's go to PivNet and download the BuildPack Extensions download, which contains the Stack Auditor plugin. Unzip the downloaded file on your computer. Now, we'll use the CF install plugin command to install a stack auditor. Now, with the stack auditor plugin installed, we can now run the CF audit stack command to see all of our apps and what stack they are using. As you can see, all of our apps are using the legacy Windows 2016 stack name. We'll need to change that. Let's use the CF change stack command to change an app stack and watch it change in the apps manager interface. The stack name was changed to Windows and the app was restarted to use the new stack name. Let's go ahead and run the CF stack change command on the rest of our apps. We'll speed through this here, but this might be something you consider automating. CF audit stack shows that the apps have all been updated to the correct Windows stack name. Apps are running. We're ready for the upgrade. Just to recap, we showed a couple ways to see an app's current stack name. We installed the stack auditor CF plugin. We used the CF audit stack command to view the stacks for all the applications of our foundation in order to find out what stack names needed to be updated. Finally, 
we use the cf change stack command to change our app stack names away from the deprecated 2016 stack name and to use the correct Windows stack name. Here are some links and resources which you can review before getting started or if you need help. We hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.